يوم الثامن the eighth day starting with صلاة الظهر صلاة الظهر صلاة العصر you will pray ظهر العصر غدا العشاء you will make قصر الصلاة جامع not not all the scholars will agree on this you but you will you will shorten the prayer you will pray two raka ظهر instead of four you will pray two عصر instead of four you will pray two and عشاء instead of four you will pray two and مغرب Fajr as usual. طيب. These are the five prayers that you would pray there in the day of in the day of excuse me. You pray with Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he was traveling. Any time he's traveling, he used to shorten the prayer, combine the prayer, leave the Sunnah and the Rawatib like the prayer you do before and after the Salawat, but with Salat with the odd numbers, he used to pray them all the time. Whether he's traveling, whether he's uh, resident, he used to pray them all the time. طيب. Now we pray the five prayers and, and Fajr of the day of Arafah. Now we are on the Fajr of the day of Arafah. What we're supposed to do? We would march. We would go forward to Arafat. How many prayers we pray in Arafat? Only two prayers. Bohr and Asr. We will shorten them and combine them in the time in the time of Dhuhr. So one and then we we'll pray with the people there. It's okay. Then and two iqamah. First iqamah we pray Dhuhr two rak'ah with the iman. Then another iqamah. Then salat al asr. Sometimes we combine here because of rain. Some like this. Maghrib and Shabbat you will be praying Dhuhr and asr in Arafat right there. <clears throat> so when you're going to when you get to Ihram, you are supposed to say Talbaya again. Labbaik Allahumma labbaik, labbaik la sharika laka labbaik. And you will, you will keep saying Talbaya until the tenth day when you go to throw the, the, the pebble, Jamrat al aqaba You will keep going, you will keep saying these Talbaya and so on until you go to uh, Jamrat al aqaba as you mentioned on the, uh, the day, the tenth of uh, Dhul Hijjah. Taib, any questions so far? Any questions? Alhamdulillah. Now is the day of Arafah. You got to Arafah. Arafah is the day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is proud of his slaves and servants. I saw, I'm not, I, didn't, I didn't make hajj yet. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the, the power and the strength and, and, and decree for us to make hajj, inshallah. I heard about some people go to Arafah and they are smokers. They smoke in Arafah. And I heard about somebody who got shisha. Egyptians know what I'm talking about. In Arafat, they talk in shisha, Nargila or Nargila, as we call it. Subhanallah, you busy yourself with dua, with prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is the best day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts dua uh, in it. Dua yawm Arafah, khayr dua, dua yawm Arafah. The best of all supplication and prayer is the dua of the day of Arafat. Please do not forget, for those who go, inshallah, the sisters, do not forget this is amana. Do not forget to make dua, inshallah. For me and my family and all the Muslims, inshallah ta'ala. You make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you pray with the Muslims. Many people, some mistakes. There is something called Jabal al Rahma, a little hill or mountain, where you see in the uh, TV and so on. Many people they fight with each other trying to get to Jabal al Rahma. Arafat is not that Jabal, it's not that mountain. Arafat is, is a wide area, you would see signs. By the way, you are not supposed to be outside. Signs would say, Arafat ends here. Nihayat Arafat. Do not go beyond it. So you should be inside it. It's something like very big area. So you can be anywhere. Even if you somebody just passed by it, you have to be there for a while during that time. Tayyip, clear? But you're not supposed to go out of it. Or you're not supposed to go fight to get to Jabal al Rahma or up there when you know on top of it. No, there is no Fadila uh, on that. There is no extra virtue for going to Jabal al-Rahma, the mountain of mercy, uh, there. So do not do it. You pray at your, you pray at your, uh, any point. If you, if you, if you can go to a place by the name of Namira, but most likely you'll not be able to go because, uh, any, uh, millions of people are there. If you are able to go to Namira, it will be okay. If not, anywhere in Arafah, except for a little area, you will see signs. You will see signs that tell you you can stay here or not. Uh, you, you, will, you are not supposed to stay there. So anywhere inside Arafah, which is very vast valley, anywhere there, you, you can uh, do. Do not go out of Arafah before sunset. Before sunset, you are not allowed to leave. You cannot leave Arafah before sunset. Right after the sunset, you can, 
you can start going to the next step. Anything in Arafat during the day of Arafat? What is what is the thing that comes next? What comes next after Arafat? Al-Muzdalifa ahsantunna jazakumullah khair min tuhadbiya rikal khas. After Arafat comes al Muzdalifa. You would go, by the way, Arafat, Muzdalifa, and many of these places, they are not in Mecca. They are outside Mecca, a few miles. You have to drive to them. Now we left Mecca. You would leave Mecca. Uh, on the eighth day, going to Mina. And then you leave Mina, going to Arafat. Then, after you finish, you go back to a place by the name of Al Muzdalifa, where you will uh, uh, pray there. You will spend this night and pray Maghrib and Isha, Salat al Maghrib and Salat al Isha in Muzdalifa. Uh, and you will shorten them and combine them together. You will shorten Salat al Isha. Only Salat al Isha, instead of four prayer uh, rakats, you will pray. Only two. One salat al free, no uh, compression in it. So you will pray there together in al al muzdalifa. Yeah, then one adhan and two iqamah, same thing. Then you will stay your night at. By the time you get there and you pray, try to sleep right away because you still have some actions next day. A lot of things. You sleep, you will fall asleep anyhow. But do not waste your time. Do not. Also, you have to be inside. We have certain signs that because it's at night time, probably some people might pre uh, prefer to go away from people or something, so they end up being outside the, the borders of uh, Muzdalifa. Make sure that you are inside the Muzdalifa. You will see some signs. You are now, by the way, these places are not like uh, uh, cities or something. You are in the middle of the desert. You will find all the uh, facilities and everything, uh, utilities and so on, but Still, you have to watch the signs. Oh, if this inside or outside? Inside, you have to be inside al 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 Muzdalifa. You will spend the night there until uh, the next day, Fajr. For those who are weak, for those who are weak, maybe women, you you will go with the group anyhow. Those who are going to go with the group, you have a leader, you go with them, inshallah ta'ala. But generally speaking, for the weak people, the elders, the women who are not, you know, they might leave before Salat al-Fajr. They might leave before Salat but better to stay until Salat al-Fajr. But talking about the youth and strong people, they have to stay. They don't have any excuse to go before Salat al-Fajr. They pray Salat al-Fajr and they keep doing Salat. The Prophet used to do a lot of dua. فَإِذَا أَفَضْتُ مِنْ عَرَفَاتِ فَذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ عِنْدَ الْمَشْعَرِ الْحَرَامِ When you go down from Arafat, march to Arafat, uh, from Arafat, فَذْكُرُوا اللَّهَ عِنْدَ الْمَشْعَرِ الْحَرَامِ Praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the Mash'ar al-Haram. This is in Muzdalifah. You, you do a lot of dhikr, a lot of du'a, again, don't forget me, inshallah, my family, and all the Muslims and all the brothers here, those who are going to have You mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you make a lot of du'a and dhikr. Then you wait until it's, the sun is almost rising, sun is, uh, is almost rising, then you will go somewhere else. Now, where, where are we now? Where are we? Where are we now? We are Muzdalifa. Now we're leaving to the next step, which will be? We will go back to Mina again. Today is what? 11. No, no, 11 is what? Now it was 9th day, we finished Arafat, which was the 9th. And we are now at night. It's the night before, after the 10th, and before, after the 9th, and before the 10th. Laylat al Eid. This Laylat al Eid now, the night before al Eid, which is the 10th of the Hijjah. Tomorrow the 10th. We'll spend this night in Muzdalifa. Now we pray Fajr, which is the Fajr of the day of Eid. Day of Eid, 10, not 11. 10th day, the 10th day, this is the Fajr. You go after the great Fajr and, and make Asghar and everything, and almost sun is rising, you go to, this is the 10th day, Yom al Eid. This is Yom al Eid. You go to Mina. You move to the next step, which is uh, Mina. You may, it's not, it's not wajib, you may collect the pebbles that you will use in the next three days, inshallah ta'ala, uh, to, to throw the, uh, to make rajim, or throw the, these pebbles, you might collect them from Mina, from al Muzdalifa, but it's not a must. Many people, they, they, they might find, because you know, if you have five million people, and everybody will be collecting how many hasawat, how many pebbles at maximum? Seven. For every person? 70. For the three or four days, some people, so if we have five, seven million people, uh, times 70, Oh, where are you going to get all of the pebbles from all of these people from, uh, from Muzdalifah?